Who is Kelly Knighting? He's a future 1,000 mile hiker. Stay tuned to the end of this video. Who is Kelly Knighting? Do you really want to find out? Kelly Knighting has been called a freak of nature. Why? Not because of his 440 pound frame, but because of his mind arrogantly thinking he can accomplish the impossible. In 2007, Kelly was one of these semi-truck drivers with a master's degree. He'd pull off the road and run five miles, shower at the truck stop, and hit the road again. He did this for a year to train for the 2008 Los Angeles Marathon. When it came time to run it, the media, looking for anything of value that year, pounced on Kelly, a five-time U.S. sumo champion. For the interview, a reporter was at the starting line, explaining to Kelly's friend Dan on the phone where to park about 200 yards away from his location. The reporter asked Dan, will that work? Can Kelly walk that far? Then during the actual marathon, Kelly was shadowed by a young kid on a bicycle, whose job it was to keep track of Kelly for when the media wanted to talk with him again down the road. We later found out that the kid's dad had told him, you had the easy job. This guy won't make it a mile. This is, this is, a a wall after wall after wall trying to bust through. I, I'm exhausted. It's all I can do to take the next step. We're going to be the very last to make it. Does anybody have any idea the amount of computed force to the bottom of the feet it takes for a 430 pound guy to run 26.2 miles? It had never been done before. It took 11 hours and 48 minutes. For Kelly's 2011 LA Marathon, the Guinness World Record people didn't have a category for the heaviest person to complete a marathon until Kelly submitted the category. They didn't know what weight to list for the previous record, so they put 275 pounds, thinking surely no one over 275 pounds has ever completed a marathon. But they listed a time duration, saying that the marathon would need to be completed within 10 hours. Good thing Kelly was a trim 400 pounds, because he came in with 11 minutes to spare. Then Kelly ran a third marathon in the Navajo Nation corner of New Mexico at 6,000 feet high, completing it in about 12 hours. And the entire time Kelly was winning sumo tournaments and competing in world championship competitions. Kelly is an oddity. He is morbidly obese. He wrestled in high school and college at 190 pounds. Kelly wants to be perceived as crazy. Why? Because then he'd know either one of two things. Either he is crazy, or as he sees it, brilliant. You see, reading from his book, Fat Passion, when a person looks at you and exclaims, what the hell do you think you're doing? Or what in the world was in your mind? Or go ahead, be stupid. It could be bad, but it also could be good. What this means is that you are either on the far left of the bell-shaped curve and rightly deserve the ridicule, or you're on the far right with wisdom and ability unavailable to those critics undeserving of your genius. Then his attention turned to swimming. His goal? To swim the English Channel, all 22 miles of it. Kelly would first attempt the Anacapa Channel, 12 miles off the coast of Southern California to the mainland. He failed. Just when it looked doable, Kelly hit an underwater current in the opposite direction. After his final three hours, in which he was being charged $200 an hour for use of the boat, of getting nowhere, and after puking five times, he threw in the towel. Three months later, Kelly would attempt a 14-mile Bear Lake swim and succeed. To train, Kelly would swim all day once a week. Four times he even swam completely through the night in various lakes. But his first attempt at swim training was a near-death experience. Driving 40 miles to Bull Lake, New Mexico, Kelly jumped in cold fall waters. It took him five hours to go two miles. And afterwards, Kelly drove back to Fort Defiance with the heat blasting in his car, thanking God he was able to move. Stiff as a board, Kelly dethawed in a hot bathtub, then slept a full 20 hours. How the hell is the English Channel going to work out? The hardest adventure Kelly endured was swimming the length of Navajo Lake from the dam in New Mexico to Colorado, which is upstream 22 miles. The year was 2015. Friends acted as spotters in canoes and a date was set. There was no turning back. It was now or never. 
So when Kelly came down with bronchitis and was coughing up phlegm continually, nothing was going to be canceled. To make matters worse, in a dumb media stunt, to begin his swim, Kelly jumped 10 feet off a rocky ledge to what he thought was sand. It was hard rock. Kelly's right ankle became severely strained and black. So with bronchitis and a severely strained ankle and against New Mexico government approval, 24 hours later, Kelly had triumphed. Turns out swimming is really good in healing a severely strained ankle. It was the hardest of all Kelly's accomplishments and turns out a cure for his desire to swim the English Channel. All of Kelly's accomplishments came almost 100% on his own dime. Six years has gone by since Kelly's Navajo Lake swim. Kelly is 51 years old and 440 pounds and yet he's getting ready for his next and final adventure. A team of people with Kelly will take four months to hike over 1,000 miles from Santa Fe, New Mexico to Los Angeles on the old Spanish trail through the Navajo Nation. That's four months of leaving his job, his wife, his family, all to become once again crazy. The trek will launch on April 8, 2022. Kelly will be active on YouTube and will drop video updates almost daily during the trek and weekly from now until April 8th. So be sure to subscribe. You will be able to watch his progress before and throughout the next 14 months. So this is who Kelly Knighting is. Fat Man the Superhero? Or just Fat Man the Morbidly Obese Freak? You decide.